happened to be in Toronto for just a month. I, had, I flew from Vancouver to Toronto, and it was the second audition I got coming off the plane. I was supposed to be in New York. I canceled my New York trip, and I stayed in the city just to audition for this because I heard it was Guillermo, and then a week later I heard I was being considered for it, and suddenly, okay, I guess I'm living in Toronto for like eight months. I, I auditioned for it. It was under the name of Still Seas while I auditioned and while we were filming it. Um, it took up every sound stage at Pinewood Studios. So I knew that the scope was really large. Um, and everyone seemed to have this energy that it was something really special and really exciting. But I didn't realize until the marketing press junket started to happen probably like, I don't know, months ago that it was going to be so huge. I've been involved in projects where you just get to see the, your scenes because it's so top secret. I had to sign a bunch of confidentiality agreements and so when I read the script it was actually at the casting director's office. I couldn't take it physically off of the space so I had to sit there for two hours and I read through it and the monsters scared me. The first scene scared me as I was sitting there in the, in the casting office reading it through So, because I'm, I'm nervous about sea creatures. The monsters were all green screen, okay. but we'd seen kind of models and photos that we were able to relate to. So when we were doing the fights against the kaiju, Guillermo would call out, we'd know who it was that we were fighting and what they were doing and what it looked like. So we could use that. What is it like on a Guillermo del Toro set? It's like, it's yeah. like that. It's this kind of smile that everyone just has and this kind of buoyancy. Everyone walks around with a real high energy but a competency like everyone just knows what they're doing and I think he he picks people who are really competent and 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 know their field so well he's hilarious he makes you feel super at ease he knows the ins and outs and it's almost like he was tireless he never was tired ever he worked like 16 17 hours on those sets He's grown up with this. I mean, this was nostalgic for him, I think. So it was a contagious, almost childlike energy that he brought to set and that I hope is, and I think it will be, channeled into the film itself. Like this kind of like childlike meets dark fantasy with really interesting characters scattered throughout. And Guillermo had a hand in creating everything from the hair to... Um, you know, to the armor, to the, yeah, the wardrobe. Kate was amazing in wardrobe and Legacy FX. Shane was working on the armor and, yeah, once that all kind of got onto our bodies and all of it got into place, me and Robert, my co-pilot, right. we just were like, mm-hmm, yeah, we'd look at each other like, yeah, we're going to kick some butt. When you're driving the machines, when you're driving the robots, I mean, is that you physically moving those pieces and what was it like for you to kind of be in that? Yeah, it was it was physically made for us. Okay. Um, so the feet were kind of attached to almost like this Nordic track type thing. Right. Um, it felt so awkward, like when you're in skis and you're in the ski boots. Um, but even lifting it, it was weighted down. And the arms were attached to wires that they weighted down. So every time we like threw a punch or lifted our foot, Everything had that laborious quality that it would take to like lift a robot foot or the arm of the Jaeger, you know? So it was physically demanding. It was um, an exercise in meditation because once, really, once you got strapped into all of it, you were hanging there in between takes, soaking wet um, from the water and kind of the weight of everything. And you just had to kind of hang there because it took almost 45 minutes to get everything off of you so that you could, I don't know, have a bathroom break. Everybody really bonded. It was a real team cast and we just really felt, I think part of it was having to go through the physical stuff together because we all trained together really intensely physically prior to the film. So I think that just in general bonds people together. But a really great professional, friendly group of actors, Charlie, Idris, Rinko, Charlie Day, Charlie Hunnam, right. both Charlies.